Hello, and welcome to today's video where we will be comparing two of the biggest financial scammers of the modern era, Bernie Madoff and Sam Bankman Fried. Both men managed to swindle millions out of unsuspecting investors through elaborate Ponzi schemes before their downfalls. But who was the bigger scammer and caused more damage? Let's dive in and find out. Bernie Madoff founded his Wall Street investment firm Bernard L. Madoff Investment Securities, LLC, in 1960. For decades, he was able to lure in thousands of wealthy investors, including celebrities, pension funds, and charitable foundations, by promising consistently high returns. Madoff claimed to be employing a split-strike conversion strategy to generate these steady gains. But in reality, there was no trading going on. Madoff was operating the largest Ponzi scheme in history, simply using new investment money to pay off previous investors. At its peak, Madoff's scam was estimated to be worth almost $65 billion. When the Great Recession hit in 2008, market downturns caused many investors to try withdrawing their money from Madoff's firm. With insufficient funds to cover these liabilities, Madoff's scheme finally collapsed. Around $18 billion of investor money was lost. Madoff was arrested and sentenced to 150 years in prison, where he died in 2021 at age 82. Now let's look at Sam Bankman Fried. He founded the cryptocurrency exchange FTX in 2019 along with his trading firm Alameda Research. FTX quickly grew to be one of the largest crypto exchanges, valued at $32 billion at its peak earlier this year. Behind the scenes, Bankman Fried was illegally transferring customer funds from FTX to Alameda to make risky market bets. He had also secretly borrowed billions from FTX customer accounts to cover losses at Alameda. When concerns over the financial ties between FTX and Alameda went public, it triggered a run on withdrawals at FTX. The exchange crumbled in just a few days, filing for bankruptcy on November 11, 2022 an estimated $10 billion of customer funds vanished. Just 30 years old, Bankman Fried saw his net worth plummet from $16 billion to zero practically overnight. He faces potentially criminal charges for defrauding FTX users and market manipulation. So in terms of scale, while Madoff's Ponzi scheme may have been larger on paper at over $60 billion, the amount of actual investor losses appear greater in SBF's case estimated around $10 billion. Also, the speed of FTEX's collapse was unprecedented versus Madoff's scheme slowly unraveling over months. Both men were able to cultivate false trust in their personas, allowing their frauds to grow exponentially. Madoff created an aura of exclusivity, only accepting new clients via referral. SB gave portrayed himself as an altruist and thoughtful industry leader. But there are some key differences between their scams. Madoff was straightforward in lying about trades. SBFs involved dodgy financial engineering, like transferring customer assets between firms and using them as collateral for loans. And while Madoff mostly targeted the very wealthy, FTEX marketed itself as an approachable platform for mainstream crypto investors. The ease of signing up through a smartphone app brought in many smaller retail traders and their modest savings. So in terms of having a larger impact on the crypto market and everyday investors, SBF's schemes may surpass Madoff's in damage done. Over a million FTX users are now scrambling to recover any funds they can. The fallout is also shaking confidence in the broader crypto industry. With FTX's implosion coming on the heels of other major platforms going bust, like Celsius and Voyager Digital, it paints a gloomy picture of instability in crypto finance. While regulators were warned multiple times about Madoff, SBF's youth and embrace of crypto may have led to less scrutiny of FTEX until it was too late. Both scammers were ultimately brought down when market downturns triggered a rush of withdrawal requests they couldn't handle. So in summary, while Madoff orchestrated the most epic Ponzi scheme by dollar amount, I would argue SBF has so far caused wider damage in terms of investors affected, trust lost in crypto markets, and regulatory reputation. But only time will tell the full impact as legal cases and investigations into FTEX continue unfolding. That wraps up our comparison of how Bernie Madoff's and Sam Bankman Fried's financial scams rocked their respective investment worlds. Both clearly showed a pattern of deceit, 
greed and playing fast and loose with customer money to fuel their power and wealth. Let me know which scammer you think was more audacious and did greater harm in the long run. Leave your thoughts in the comments. If you learned something new, hit that like button. And don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date on all the latest financial scandals as they develop. Thanks for watching and see you next time.